The J-36 jet fighter is a conceptual next-generation multi-rotal stealth fighter designed to meet the evolving demands of modern air combat. While it is not a current operational aircraft, it represents an advanced blend of cutting-edge technologies and its capabilities would place it among the most formidable fighters in the world. Let's dive into the design, capabilities, and features that would define the J-36 if it were to be developed and deployed in the near future. The J-36 would be a highly versatile and adaptable fighter jet designed to perform a wide range of combat missions, from air superiority to precision ground strikes. It would be developed under a top-secret military program focused on delivering advanced technology that addresses modern challenges in aerial warfare. The goal would be to create an aircraft that could outperform existing fourth and fifth generation fighters and give military forces a technological edge in contested environments. The J-36's design would incorporate several key features that represent the forefront of aviation technology. This includes stealth, agility, advanced avionics, and the ability to carry a variety of weapons in a compact, efficient airframe. A critical aspect of the J-36 would be its stealth capabilities. Stealth is essential for survivability in modern combat, and the J-36 would use an advanced radar-absorbing material, RAM, coating to reduce its radar cross-section. Its airframe would likely be designed with a sleek, angular appearance to deflect incoming radar signals and improve its ability to remain undetected by enemy radar systems. The wing configuration of the J-36 would most likely be optimized for both high-speed performance and superior maneuverability. With a forward-swept wing design, the aircraft would maintain agility in both low-speed and high-speed environments, allowing for impressive dogfighting capabilities. The wing shape would also help with fuel efficiency, allowing the aircraft to operate over longer distances without refueling. A twin-engine layout would provide the J-36 with sufficient thrust for a mix of stealthy, super-cruising capabilities, while maintaining a highly efficient fuel consumption rate. The engines would likely feature thrust-vectoring nozzles to offer unmatched maneuverability, this would allow the J-36 to perform extreme maneuvers such as high G turns and instantaneous rolls, making it highly effective in close-range combat situations. The cockpit of the J-36 would be designed for maximum situational awareness, combining state-of-the-art technology with ease of operation. The pilot would have access to advanced displays, including heads-up displays, HES, and a helmet mount queuing system, HESS, that allows them to track and target threats by simply looking in the direction of the target. This system would drastically reduce the pilot's workload, allowing them to focus on more critical tasks. The avionics suite of the J-36 would include an advanced active electronically scanned array, AESA, radar, capable of tracking multiple targets simultaneously. This radar would offer both long-range detection and the ability to track low-attitude targets, even those trying to hide beneath the radar horizon. Additionally, the radar would be resistant to jamming, ensuring that the J-36 remains effective in hostile environments where enemy forces might try to disrupt or deceive its sensors. In addition to radar, the J-36 would be equipped with an infrared search and track system, this would provide the aircraft with the ability to detect and target enemy aircraft and missiles using infrared radiation, a crucial capability in stealth operations. The EIRST would allow the J-36 to operate without emitting radar signals, further maintaining its low visibility to enemy forces. The aircraft would also be equipped with an Advanced Electronic Warfare EW, system, enabling it to jam enemy radar disrupt communications and deceive incoming missiles, thus increasing its survivability against modern air defense systems. The J-36 would be designed to carry a variety of weapons, making it capable of fulfilling both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. To maintain its stealth profile, the J-36 would primarily use internal weapons bays for carrying air-to-air -air missiles, such as the PL-15, a long-range missile, and PL-10 for close-range engagements. 
These weapons bays would allow the fighter to maintain a low radar signature while carrying a formidable arsenal of weapons, while the J-36 would primarily rely on its internal bays for stealthy operations. It could be equipped with external hardpoints for carrying heavier or less stealth-sensitive ordnance, such as smart bombs, precision-guided munitions, and other anti-ground weapons. This flexibility would allow the J-36 to quickly adapt to changing mission requirements, whether it's engaging enemy fighters or delivering precision strikes against ground targets. One of the most significant capabilities of the J-36 would be its ability to supercruise or fly at supersonic speeds without the need for afterburners. This would give the aircraft a significant tactical advantage, as it could quickly close the distance to a target, engage it, and then retreat without having to rely on fuel-intensive afterburners that could give away its position. The J-36 would be capable of achieving speeds of Mach 2 or higher, giving it the ability to outrun most enemy aircraft and missiles. At these speeds, it would still maintain excellent agility, allowing it to perform evasive maneuvers even when operating at high altitudes or in dense, contested airspace. Its range would be another critical aspect of its design. The J-36 would have a combat radius of over 1,200 miles, giving it the capability to operate over long distances without requiring frequent refueling. This would make it highly effective in both regional conflicts and long-range interdiction missions. The J-36 would likely be deployed as a multi-role fighter, capable of engaging enemy aircraft in dogfights, intercepting enemy bombers and missiles, and providing precision strikes against ground targets. Its combination of stealth, speed, maneuverability, and versatile weapons payload would make it an ideal asset for both air superiority and strike missions. In a potential conflict, the J-36 would be invaluable in high-intensity operations where enemy forces would deploy advanced air defense systems and fighter jets. Its low observability would allow it to penetrate these defenses, carry out strikes, and engage enemy aircraft, all while minimizing its exposure to detection and targeting.